Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's deep dive is going to be interesting, I think. We're going to be diving into Zen Secret. Zen Secret, yeah. Which, uh, you know, it's all about finding happiness. Okay. But by letting go. Uh huh. And I don't know about you, but that sounds a little counterintuitive to me, right? Yeah, a little bit. Like, yeah. how do we let go of things and still find happiness? Right. But um, I know our listeners are really interested in this idea yeah. of, you know, finding peace, maybe a little more peace in their lives. Hmm. And I think Zen Secret might have some uh, some answers for us. Yeah, I think I think it will. It's it's interesting. It takes a different approach. Yeah. Yeah. To this idea of happiness. Okay, so you've brought some really fascinating excerpts from Zen Secret. Um, so let's let's just jump into it. Like, what's what's the kind of the core message here? So the core message of Zen Secret, I think, that we can start with, is this idea: Can letting go of things that we cherish actually make us happier? Okay, so it's like a paradox almost. It is a paradox. Mm. It's a paradox, and you know, a lot of us we hold on to things. Right. We think, you know, these things, whether they're material possessions or their ideas, their beliefs, their relationships, we think that if we hold on to them tightly, yeah, it's going to bring us happiness. It's going to give us security. It's going to give us security. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Zen Secret challenges that and says, well, what if what if letting go is actually the key? OK, so how does Zen Secret like how does it back that up? Like what what's what's the reasoning behind that? So the reasoning behind it is really rooted in this idea of non-attachment, mm -hmm. which is a core Buddhist principle. Okay. And what non-attachment says is that our clinging, our grasping to things, mm -hmm. is actually what causes us suffering. Okay. Because the nature of reality, the nature of life is change. Yeah. And when we cling to things and we're unwilling to let go, we're basically setting ourselves up for disappointment, for frustration, for suffering because change is inevitable. I see what you're saying. So it's, it's not that we have to like become these emotionless beings, right? Right. It's more about changing our our relationship to the things that, that bring us joy, to the things that, that we experience in life. I think that's a really great way to put it. It's about changing our relationship. Yeah. To the things that we experience, mm -hmm. to our emotions, even to our sense of self. Okay. Well, speaking of changing our relationship, I love how Zen Secret uses this analogy of ice cream yes the ice cream analogy it's so good okay. it's like it's so relatable right because who doesn't love ice cream exactly you know, huh. we look forward to that first bite right and oh, it's no. so enjoyable in the moment yeah but then you know as we all know ice cream melts it melts it's impermanent right it's now. impermanent and the book says imagine if you held on to that ice cream and you refuse to let it melt right you'd end up with a sticky mess a sticky yeah a sticky situation and you'd be really frustrated yeah and you wouldn't be able to fully enjoy it and you wouldn't be able to enjoy it right yeah. exactly and it's the same thing with other things in life right yeah it's so true yeah it's like you we get that new phone and we're so excited about it and then like you know a week later a new model comes out and we're like oh, i wish i had waited yeah <laughs> But that's the nature of, of things, right? Like things are constantly changing. They're constantly evolving. Yes. And I, I think that's where Zen secret, it brings in this idea of finding peace within ourselves. Okay. Rather than seeking it from these external factors, these external things. Because those are always going to be in flux. They're always going to be in flux. Yeah. They're impermanent. So, I mean, this all sounds great in theory. Like, yeah, let go of attachment, find peace within. Right. But how do we actually do that? Like Zen Secret doesn't like just leave us hanging, does it? It doesn't. Yeah. It actually offers some very practical tips and practices. Mm. One of the things that it talks about is mindfulness. Okay. Yeah. Mindfulness. That's a good one. Which is really about paying attention to the present moment without judgment. Mm. And when we practice mindfulness, we start to observe our thoughts, we start to observe our emotions, and we can see where we're attached. We can see those patterns. We can see those patterns. Yeah. And we can start to, to make different choices. So instead of getting caught up in, you know, wishing things were different, we can kind of be present with what is and, and find a little bit of gratitude in that. Absolutely. And, you know, that ties into another practice that Zen Secret talks about, which is gratitude. Okay, gratitude. Cultivating gratitude. Yeah. And when we're consciously focusing on what we're grateful for, it shifts our attention away from, you know, clinging to the things that we don't have or wishing things were different. So to kind of bring it all together, it sounds like Zen Secret is really encouraging us to, you know, loosen our grip a little bit, be a little bit more present. Yeah. And, uh, and to focus on gratitude. 
And I think, you know, the invitation here is not to do it perfectly. Oh, yeah, for sure. Right. Not to be perfect at it. But to just start. Yeah. To take baby steps. Because even if we can incorporate like a little bit of this into our lives, it sounds like it can make a big difference. Yeah, I think so. In terms of, you know, finding that peace, that happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as we kind of wrap up our deep dive into Zen's secret, I'm curious what's like a, a final thought that you would kind of want to leave our listeners with? I think a good question to ponder might be this. If you were to let go of one thing that's been weighing you down, mm -hmm. a worry, a grudge, a fear, yeah. what could you make space for in your life? That's a good one. I'm yeah. going to have to think about that myself. Mm -hmm. Me too. All right, everyone. Well, that's it for today's deep dive. Until next time.